Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to take a look at in this video is a 100 plus acre uh, network. And I call it that because it spans over 100 acres um, that uh, I'm in the middle of re-architecting. And I thought that this would be a cool chance for you to uh, kind of see, you know, some of the thoughts behind it. Now, Everybody is going to design their networks differently. I'm going to show you how this network is designed. So here is a map that represents this 100 plus acres. And you've got a main site right here. So I am going to show you where uh, there is fiber. So let's say that this is our hub. So we are going from here to this building, here to this building, here to this building. Then from here to this building. And then from here to this building. Then from this building to this building. So that's all uh, underground fiber. Works very well. Then we do have uh, some places. I'm going to use black for this. So, you know, we've got a building here that connects back to here with Ethernet. And then, let's see. This, I'll explain this here in just a second. Um, now I'm going to use uh, blue for wireless links. Now, all of the existing wireless links were 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. We are upgrading those all to 60 gigahertz where possible. I take that back. There was one 60 gigahertz uh, link. So uh, where we've got point-to-point -point wireless connections, and this is all uh, Ubiquity gear, by the way, we go from this building to this building. Then what's weird about this building is there's actually like a cut in the concrete, and I can't uh, do fiber. So to connect... Uh, two halves of the building, there's actually a point-to-point a -point bridge here. And before you ask, no, I, I can't do solid wiring. It is not possible for this application. And let's see. That wraps it up there. There is uh, some internal wireless here as well. And then this is where things get... Um, Kind of interesting. So we come off of this building to this building. And then off of this building, we shoot to this building. Now, right now, this has to be a 2.4 gigahertz link because of obstruction. This is 60 gigahertz. This one right now is 5 gigahertz and will get converted um, in the next week or so over to 60 gigahertz. Then uh, from over here, we shoot to this building. And then from this building to this building, and then this building to this building. And then from this building, and by the way, these are 60 gigahertz. This is 2.4 because of obstructions. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go from this building to this building, and this is actually 900 megahertz because of the obstructions there. There are dozens of switches. Um, every building has a telephone. Um, and it works out really well, but, uh, obviously some of the links that I can upgrade to 60 gigahertz, we're working on that. We're also replacing switches and all that, uh, and making sure that, um, the network is definitely steady for voice. So like every building's going to get a battery backup, you know, all those, all those things. So it's, it's really neat when you see it come together and it's, it's been running okay, but we are definitely going to take the next step in doing this upgrade. So let me know if you've got any questions about this. I really thought you'd find this neat because it is, uh, you know, you hear a lot of people talk about how they've architected or managed, but you don't really get to see it. And this is one that I have architected and changed and now we will be um, uh, upgrading it. So I'm, I'm super excited to see what, the future is going to hold with this, especially we're putting tons of 60 gigahertz in. And so, um, 
when we did that, we're getting, you know, seven to 800 megabits from this building to this building, this building to this building. And then this 2.4 gigahertz backhaul here is our bottleneck, right? So, and then we're doing 60 gigahertz from here to here. We're getting those same speeds, seven to 800 megabits. And then from here to here, obviously because of obstructions, we're only pulling about 25 megabits but uh, there is just a phone there. So, and obviously this 900 megahertz link down here is, you know, 10 megabits and there's a phone down here. So if you got any questions about this, let me know. Um, it's a really neat, really fun, really fun project. So I just thought I'd share that with you and uh, I hope you get a kick out of it as much as I like talking about it. It's a really great project. So, and make sure you give this video a thumbs up. You can follow me on Twitter and TikTok down below. You'll see more pictures of this uh, rollout, pictures that I can share. Obviously I can't do video um, from here, but there are still pictures that I can, I can share. So um, yeah, follow, like, and share. If you want to support the channel, all of our links are down below. And if you have a hundred acre, uh, network that you need architected, you can reach out at willyhow.com, click hire us, contact us, fill that information out. And someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. We offer all kinds of services that you can find there on the website. Once again, I really hope you like this. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.